Welcome back everyone to the tutorial series and in this lecture I'm going to be showing you procedures and if you've done any programming before like Java or you know Python or C++ whatever then you remember the word function or method procedures are pretty much the same thing in NIM okay uh, if you don't have a programming background that's fine just follow along with me and I'll explain what they are so let's say you have a variable called a and it's equal to 5 and var b is equal to 6 and you want to do some complex calculations right you're doing some crazy stuff we're going to do var c is equal to a plus b you know and then d is equal to c times 10 right e is equal to c or d um you know minus 5 and they can say var g is equal to you know e over 15 yada 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 whatever we're doing this calculation on these two variables a and b that's what we're needing pretty much right now imagine we had other variables like you know a1 equals 7 and var a2 equals 8 and we want to do this exact crazy calculation the same one but on these two variables so you might think okay i'm just going to copy this put it here but as you can imagine, this will get very tedious, especially if your calculation takes thousands of lines of code. That means if this was a thousand lines of code, you would have to repeat it again, but for these two variables. All right, so that can be pretty tiring. You don't want to do that. Instead, I'm going to delete this block of code, and I'm going to make a function, a method, a procedure called and you start procedures with a keyword proc, four words. You call it whatever you want. So I'm gonna say do crazy calculation. All right. And of course it takes in two integer values. That's what we need. So to do that, we name it whatever input you want. So I can say var one and of type int, var two of type int, and if we want to return something, then we have to specify the return type. So we can say this will return an integer and you start with the equal sign. And as you can see, this one gets indented automatically. And this indent means that whatever we type in here that is indented is going to be a part of this do crazy calculation procedure. So I'm gonna copy everything here and I'm just gonna slightly indent this so one two so like that one two okay so it's two spaces basically that's their indentation so one two one two one two one two okay and then i want to return something at the end so i'm just going to say return g okay that's all we're doing so we're saying do all these calculations and in the end return this result this is what we got we specified an integer return type, so we have to return an integer, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna complain. So this means we can take this block of code, just like we did with A and B, and by the way, uh, we're gonna put var1 here, because this is, we're saying work with our input, not with these two, okay? So var2. So this way, I can come here and say, okay, var result1 is equal to do crazy calculation of a and b and i can say var result 2 i'm going to delete this actually var result 2 is equal to do crazy calculation a1 and a2 all right so this is going to repeat the same thing we did here it's just that we're now doing it for different variables and this is how procedures are very, very useful. They save you time, they save you lines of code, they save you space, and they're much more easier, uh, uh, much, much easier to understand than if you just had a block of code. Because we're naming this do crazy calculation, which is useless, but in real life, you know, you're doing a physics project, you can say, or you can name this, you know, calculate gravity between two planets. And whoever's reading your code will understand, okay, this is what this guy is doing right or this is what this programmer is trying to achieve so in this case i'm going to print the result so echo result one and echo result whoops 
echo result two. And if I run this, oh, let's see. Okay, type mismatch ten ten. Oh, I see. So as you can see here, we promised that it would return an int, but we since divided by fifteen, it returned a float because as you remember from our integer division dividing by another integer will always give us a float. So to fix this problem, we can specify two things, uh, or we can do two things. We can either change this to float and run this, and in this case it will work, or we can just keep this as an integer, and instead I'm gonna do int, I'm gonna cast my g into an int, and that can work too. And I'm going to make this more obvious. I'm going to say result one. And I'm going to do this. And same thing here. Copy this. Result two. And this is result two. And if I run this, you're going to see it work perfectly fine now because we cast it to an integer. Okay? So that's how procedures work, guys. Uh, they're pretty useful. Again, just to recap. Uh, you start with the word proc, that's our keyword, if you want to define a procedure. The name of the procedure here, your inputs, if you have any, if you don't have any inputs or it doesn't take any inputs, just delete this, okay? Keep this empty. We're going to return this. And if you have no return type, then you can just delete this. You don't need this anymore, right? But we need to return an int in this case, so that's what we needed it. So that's for procedures, guys. Uh, I hope you find this lecture pretty helpful. Uh, and I'm going to see you next lecture. Peace.